a sister. Uh, she's now 19 years old. When she was 16, when she was 16, she wrote an email to this group of brothers who have a page on Facebook, which is in Hebrew, Da'wah to Islam. She was 16 years old, and she says, I have decided to convert to Islam. And the group emailed back, look, we can't do anything. We cannot do anything. You are a minor, and we cannot get into any trouble. Best of luck and goodbye. She kept on emailing fiqhi questions, aqidah questions, and they have to answer just simple questions, right? She began to pray in her own house, in her closet, at the age of 16. And she began to get material online from them. And I was with the brother who uh, eventually, had the, there was a family, an elderly man and woman, they're living in outside of, of, of Jerusalem, and they found, or the, the group that is the da'wah group, they found a family that at great risk to them would be willing to take in this, this young girl. This young girl, the night she turned 18, because they said we can't do anything legally, we don't want any trouble. The night she turned 18, she packed her bags, went to a phone booth, called the brother and said, I'm standing here, you told me when I'm 18 it would be legal, I'm 18, come pick me up. I cannot be with my family anymore. The brother became very worried, what is this, a trap, what not? Because obviously it's very dangerous, right? And he went with a group of family, sisters, what not, they found out everything seems legit, what not. She says, I need a place, I cannot be at home, I'm not allowed to pray, they're forcing me to do this and that, I need to get out to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They made a few phone calls, a family agreed with great risk to them to take this young lady in, and she's now learning Arabic, memorizing Quran. Now listen, in that country when you're 18, do you know what you have to do? You have to go to the military and army, okay? And her papers came, and the family said, look, we're not going to do anything. This is between you and the government. Because again, they understand you cannot risk your life, right? So you know what they did? She said, fine, give me my paperwork and I'm going to go. Wearing my hijab and telling them I'm a Muslim. She went to the IDF. She went to the, the military. And she and the brother told me, the brother was saying, Ya khi wallahi ana tarak. She, in Arabic, he said, I, I swear I left her a mile outside. I didn't want to go close to the post. I just dropped her, I said, call me when you're done. Because they're scared for their own lives, right? So the elderly couple, they left him out, her outside. She walked to the post wearing hijab. She handed the papers of the you know, conscription, and she goes, by the way, I'm a Muslim, so you should know that before you do anything else. And for three months, her case went back and forth. What should they do? Until finally they gave her a letter that for reasons, for whatever, we don't need you to work in the army. But the courage she must have had to walk in and to be who she is. And now she's memorizing the Quran, learning Arabic. Her Arabic was better than her English when she's talking to me. And subhanAllah, just mind boggling for me to meet somebody like this.